years ahead, who will Marion end up with? Is romance blooming between her and Larry? Will they end up together? Where will her rebellious nature take her? You have nothing to worry about, because we are looking forward to plenty of Gilded Age content. Thanks to the success of the first installment, the series has been renewed for a second season. HBO announced the news of the renewal in February 2022. Francesca Orsi, executive VP of programming at HBO, shared a statement saying, quote, Julian Fellows and the entire Gilded Age family have thoroughly captivated us with their tale of late 19th century New York City extravagance, adding that they couldn't be prouder to embark on a season two journey with this extraordinarily talented team. Well, we surely can't wait either. But that's not all. HBO released a teaser video together with the premiere of House of the Dragon, confirming that the new episodes of The Gilded Age will premiere in 2023. Sadly, we still don't know the exact release date. But now, back to our point. Is Marion Brooke bound to end up with Larry? As you already know, she is one of the protagonists of the series, with her moving to New York to live with her wealthy aunts. She's beautiful, she's smart, and she's ahead of her time, enough to make every man develop a crush on her. Shortly after she moves in with her aunts, she meets Tom Rikes, her father's lawyer. He has developed a crush on her, but since she is still going through a difficult period of time, she doesn't reciprocate. And, well, nothing happens as they go separate ways. This changes when Tom visits her in New York. And oh, he also tells her that he is moving to the city, which changes the course of events. He's an open guy, and he has an obvious interest in courting her. They start a courtship, but Marion's aunt, Agnes, is not happy with their relationship. She tells Marion that Tom is just an adventurer, and she simply advises her not to continue the relationship, to which Marion says no. At this point, she does everything opposite to what her aunt tells her but viewers quickly discover that Tom is often trying to be present among those influential people, and everyone sees this. Every single character in the series, except, yep, except Marion. She seems to be wearing those rose-colored glasses, and she doesn't see Tom as he truly is. This brings us to Larry and his future with Marion. According to the creators, it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. <laughs> Now, seriously, the finale of the first season hinted at a potential courtship between Marion Brooke and Larry Russell. So, are there any plot details hinting at them being together? The season finale was all about Marion and Larry Russell, and, of course, Oscar's desire to marry Gladys. Is Mrs. Van Ryn ready to accept a future with the Russells as in-laws? Only time will tell. Maybe we need a bit of disruption. Let the tournament begin. When the first season premiered, we had really different expectations. And now that we've all seen the finale, we can't wait to see Marion and Larry start a courtship. The creators made sure they put the relationship between Mary and Brooke, a character played by the beautiful and talented Louisa Jacobson, and Tom Rikes, portrayed by Thomas Cockerell, as a storyline in focus for season one. Everything goes perfectly. They plan to get married until a great plot twist occurs. The relationship is over after Riggs isn't at the scheduled meeting place. Luckily for Marion, as for Larry Russell, played by Harry Richardson, and Marion, they are not involved in a romantic relationship in the first installment, but the bond between them promises something great for season two. When you think about it, these two people are bound to end up together. I mean, they have similar, if not even the same, interests. They're both young, ambitious, and ready to break stereotypes in a world filled with prejudice and foolish societal rules. Larry has the name of George Russell. For those who forgot, George Russell is one of the richest people in the United States. Larry has a planned future in front of him. His family, his closest ones, hope that he will be the next CEO of Russell's Russell Company. His father is the one who holds on to this hope the most. But, just like in every TV series, Larry has no interest in becoming the next CEO. After finishing his studies at Harvard and returning to New York, Larry meets Stanford White, who is an architect who designed their house located on Fifth Avenue. This is when Larry finds himself captivated with the field. 
But as fate would have it, Agnes's home is located really close to the street from Russell's mansion. Although they are not the central couple of season one, Marianne and Larry's bond gets quite developed in the first installment, and it's like the creators are preparing us for what's to come in season two. Larry courting Marianne. Near the finale of season one, Marianne completely trusts Larry by giving him a note that she left for Agnes. And in the season one finale, we are seeing a ball in which the course of the show changes forever. At the ball, Rick spends the evening with another woman, while Marion is filled with sadness. And at this moment, we can see that what she felt for him was real. And then, Marion finds herself in Larry's company. They spend the night dancing and enjoying each other's presence. The fact that season one ended this way proves that the creators will continue the Larry and Marion story in the upcoming episodes. We forgot to mention another storyline that'll have an influence on the plot for season two. Marion becomes really close with Larry's sister. They become good friends. Then there's the fact that Larry and the Russells are a family with new money, and Marion sees no problem with this. The new money doesn't bother her. Based on most fan made up theories, Marion and Larry are bound to end up together. This doesn't mean we'll see their happily ever after soon but their relationship will be explored through the next seasons, with a potential wedding coming by the end of the series. And yes, some fans believe that it was pretty clear Mr. Rikes was going to be just a passenger in the series. And then there's Larry Russell. He's right there across the street to help Miss Mary and Brooke get over the breakup with Rikes. Do you guys have any theories regarding their relationship in season two? Do you think there'll be any conflicts regarding Russell's new money? Let us know before we jump into details about returning cast members. George Russell is a power in the land. Before long, he'll put money into his pocket with every train ticket you buy. I think we should know the Russell family. 13 actors have been promoted to series regulars for season two. Yep, you heard that right, 13. Most of the cast that was introduced in the first installment will return for the second one, including Christine Baranski, Carrie Coon, Cynthia Nixon, and Audra McDonald. With such an extensive cast, we expect to see many storylines in the second installment. Per a report by Variety, Kelly O'Hara as socialite Aurora Fane and Donna Murphy as Miss Astor will be series regulars in season two. Eleven actors who play the housemaids, butlers, and staff in the Gilded Age, Deborah Monk, Christine Nielsen, Taylor Richardson, Ben Allers, Kelly Curran, Douglas Sills, Celia Keenan Bulger, Michael Cerveris, Aaron Wilhelmy, Patrick Page and Sullivan Jones are all promoted to series regulars. But another installment won't be interesting without any new cast members, right? There have to be some fresh faces. The casting directors have already confirmed that new roles will continue to be played by Broadway stars. Adam Caldwell, one of the casting directors, told Variety, quote, It's still a part of the recipe of what we think works because of the talent and the experience. It can keep expanding. We might get a little bit more of a glimpse into the black elite world. Historical figures pop up too, and it's fun to jump in and play around in the sandbox with everyone. Per deadline, Laura Benanti and Robert Sean Leonard will appear in season two as recurring guest stars, and they both confirmed that it's time for you to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. <laughs> Twice. Nah, seriously, we will also see Christopher Denham, David Furr, Ben Lamb, Matilda Lawler, Dakin Matthews, Michael Brower, Nicole Brydenbloom, and Rebecca Hayden. See you in the next video.